Good morning to one and all present here. This is the golden shower and we are here to present an act in front of you all. The act is based upon the story Boli, which is written by Khwaja Ahmed Abbas. The story is about a girl named Sulekha who is generally called by her nickname Boli. She was very pretty and fair at birth, but when she was two years old, she had an attack of smallpox. Only the eyes were saved and the whole body was disfigured by pox marks. She was the fourth daughter of Ramlal. Ramlal had seven children, three sons and four daughters. When Boli was seven years old, a primary school for girls was opened in this village. The Tasilda Sahib came to uh, for the inauguration ceremony. He said to Ramlal, No star, as the revenue official, the representative of the government, you must set an example for the village. You must send your daughter to school. That night, when Ramlal consulted his wife, she cried. Are you crazy? If girls go to school, who will marry them? But Ramlal had not the courage to disturb the Tasilda. At I last, his wife said, I will tell you what to do. Send Boli to school, as it is there is a little chance for getting her married in lack of sense and ugly face. Uh, let the teacher at school worry about her. The next day, Ramlal caught Boli by the hand and said, Come on, let's go to school. No, 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 no. What's the matter? I'm just taking you to school. Take her and make her ready. Come with me. New clothes had never been made for Boli, but today she was lucky to receive a clean dress. When they reached school, the children were already in their classrooms. Ramlal handed over his daughter to the headmistress. Left alone, the poor girl looked about her face with fear looking eyes. There were several rooms in, uh, in the hallway, and in each room, girls were sitting squatted. The headmistress, the headmistress made Boli sit in a corner of the classroom. Boli did not know exactly what a school was like and what was happening there. The lady teacher who was in the class was saying something to the girls, but Boli could not understand nothing. Suddenly, Boli noticed that the teacher was standing beside her. Then she began to cry and tears flowed from her eyes in a helpless flood. She kept her head down as she sat in a corner, not daring to look up at other girls who she knew were still laughing at her. When the school bell rang, all the girls scurried out of the classroom, but Boli dared not to leave her corner. Her head still lowered, she kept on sobbing. Get up. Now, tell me your name. Boli. Well done. Listen, put your fear away from your heart and then you will be able to speak like everyone else. Really? Yes, it will be very easy. You just come to school every day. Will you come, Boli? No, say it loud. I, yes. Fa okay. Now take this book. The book was full of nice pictures and the pictures were in color. Scene 2. Thus the year passed, the village became a small town. The little primary school had become a high school. One night after dinner, Ramdal said to his wife, Then, Should I accept Vishambar's proposal? Yes, certainly. Boli will be our lucky to have such a well to do bridegroom. But you know, he is not so young. He is just as old as mine. So what does it matter? 45 50 is not a great age for man. Um, we are lucky that he is from another village and he does not know about her poke marks and ugly face. But, what will the Boli say? What does it matter? Boli is a dumb cow. Maybe you are right. In the other corner of the courtyard, Boli lay awake on her cot, listening to her parents' whispered conversation. Vishambarnath was a well-to-do grocer. He came with a big party of friends and relations with him for the wedding. A brass band playing a popular tune from an Indian film led the procession. The bridegroom riding a decorated horse arrived at the scene. Ramlal was overjoyed to see 
such a form and splendor. He had never dreamed that his poor daughter would have such a grand wedding. Both his elder sister, who had come for the occasion, was envious of her love. When the occasion moment came, the priest said, "Bring the bride." Holy, clad in a red silken bridal dress, was led to the bride's palace near the sacred pyre. Garland of bride. Have you seen her? She has poke marks on her face. So what? You are not the younger girl. Maybe. If I am to marry her, her father must give me five thousand rupees. Please don't humiliate us. Please take two thousand rupees. No. Five thousand, or we are going back. Keep your daughter. Please, if you go back, I cannot show my face in the whole village. Then out with five thousand rupees. Tears streaming down his face, Ramlal went in, opened the safe, and counted out the notes. He placed the bundle at bridegroom's feet. Give me the garland. What are you doing, Bholi? Have some respect. For the sake of your reputation, I was willing to marry this old layman, but I will not have such a mean, greedy, and contemptible coward as my husband. But who will marry you? What will we do? Don't you worry, Pitaji. In your old age, I will serve you and mother, and I will teach in the same school where I have learned so much. Isn't that right, ma'am? Yes, of course. Thank you. 